Good evening, this is Lucia Martinez for MAS 3301. This is my presentation problem. So today we're gonna to talk about Fortinius, some of the properties, and we're gonna look at some examples that apply those properties. So first of all, what are Fortinius? So Fortinius are the quotient of two direct lines in a three-dimensional space, or equivalently, the quotient of two vectors. They are represented in the form H equals to the set of A plus BI plus CJ plus DK, where A, B, C, and D belong to real numbers, and I, J, K are squares of negative one. So let's look at some properties. So today we're gonna to talk about the property of addition and multiplication. Let's start with addition. So here, you can see how we have two quartenians, and anytime that we're gonna go ahead and add two quartenians, we're gonna go ahead and focus on the components. So here we have P0 plus P1i plus P2j plus P3k, and we have Q0 plus Q1i plus Q2j plus Q3k. So you can see here that we're mainly adding the components and multiplying them by our i, j, and k. So let's look at our example here. So here you can see we have two quartenians, P equals three plus I plus K, and we have Q equals two minus I plus K. So in order for us to uh, add these two quartenians, we're gonna again go ahead and focus on our um, components such as three, two. Here, remember we have the invisible ones. And here as well, we have our invisible ones. So you can see here that once we added um, each component and we multiply them, this one is multiplied times one, this one's multiplied times i, this was multiplied times k. Um, and since we have one plus negative one is one minus one, we can scratch that out and we are ended up with five plus two k. So pretty simple. Um, now let's go ahead and look at our second property, which is multiplication. So multiplication um, for quartenians uh, works as polynomials. So the only thing that we have to consider is these conditions shown in this table here. So let's go ahead and look at our example. So. So you can see here how uh, we have the same two uh, quartenians that we were working with before. We have three plus i plus k and two minus i plus two j. So we're gonna go ahead and multiply with the, using the folding method. As you can see, I, I already have done it previously, um, but it's simply three times uh, two, three times negative i, three times uh, two j, and then i times two, i times negative i, and i times two j. And then as you can see here, the k, k times two, k times negative i, and k times two uh, j. And when you look here, you can see how we have six minus three i plus 6j plus 2i minus 2 minus i squared plus 2ji plus 2k minus ik plus uh, 2jk. So after we get our product, we have to go ahead and find those components that we are able to substitute by our conditions shown previously. So in this case, are they are negative i squared plus 2 j i negative i k and two j k so once we go ahead and substitute those we're gonna end up with six minus three i plus six j plus two i plus one minus two k plus two k plus j plus two i so once we go ahead and we combine like terms this is the answer that we obtain Thank you very much. This is Lucia Martinez for MAS um, 3301.